Right now, your ears and your brain are working together to decipher the words that I'm saying. Each sound my voice makes is collected by your ears, sent to your brain, and recognized as words and phrases that are familiar to you. Since my voice is the only one you hear at the moment, this is an easy task for your brain to do. But what if there was another voice speaking at the same time and at the same volume level? Could your brain understand two separate conversations simultaneously? Let's find out. At this the present time, is totally you are separate listening to and different from the one. first. Notice how things are starting to blend together? Let's try it with three voices. And the third this voice makes time, is totally you are harder to different from the one. first. Now that's really getting hard to understand. Now imagine an entire crowd of people all talking at the same time, like at a convention, a trade show, or a social gathering. And the and third voice is time, totally separate and harder to, different to, different to understand. Pretty much impossible to understand, isn't it? Keep in mind that your hearing hasn't changed. It's just that your brain is having more difficulty pinpointing the audio markers that it uses to decipher words and speech patterns. When there are too many of these markers, your brain can't differentiate one from another. At this the present time, time the third you are listening to everything even worst. harder to understand. And it doesn't just happen with multiple human voices. The same effect occurs when multiple layers of other sounds are all present simultaneously. Listen to this busy factory and observe how the announcement that is made is completely unintelligible within all the other ambient noise. As you can hear, the voice announcement is extremely hard to make out. The noise from all the machinery has the same effect on your brain as the multiple voices did in the previous examples. So, if you were responsible for getting an important message to all the people in these areas quickly, how would you do it? As you've just learned, a voice over a loudspeaker isn't always effective. So let's try something different, a repeating tone. Notice how you can clearly make out the tones, even with all of the ambient noise in the factory? Let's see if the same holds true if we try to cut through crowd noise using tones. As you can hear, they're effective in this environment as well. What's happening is that your brain can easily focus on and decipher them in the midst of all this audio confusion. So, now we know that tones are good for getting people's attention, even in noisy environments. What they're not good at is giving the person hearing them detailed information, so oftentimes some training is required. Let's look at a few different ways that they can be implemented into a Valcom paging system to help reach more people more often. Tones that alert people of emergencies are fairly universal so that the listener recognizes them as such. Take this one for example. These types of tones are useful in places where people are transient and it's not possible to train them as to the meaning of less familiar tones like in a convention center, for instance. Pre-announced tones are used to alert people that a more detailed message will follow. They are effective in environments with a moderate noise level, where simply getting people to shift their attention to an announcement that follows is often enough. In high noise environments, they can be used to alert people to shift their attention to a more detailed message on an LED sign or shut down machines in order to hear a voice message broadcast over a paging system. Keep in mind, tones aren't just used for emergencies. They're useful in day-to-day -day operations as well, like keeping employees on schedule. Different tones can be used for breaks, lunches, shift changes, or just about any recurring event. Tones can also easily be used in low noise environments, like classrooms, to indicate class changes. 
They can also be useful in retail spaces to alert employees when they are needed somewhere without disturbing customers. This particular application is called Code Call.